This video was requested by Karamatic EDM. If you want to see a video about a specific topic, comment below. In the far north of Gilanor, an ancient Zerosian settlement lies untouched in the arctic conditions of the frozen waste plateau. Little was heard from the inhabitants even during the third and fourth ages, but now it sits completely deserted, ravaged by dragons, demons and a mysterious magical power. But why was it abandoned? What's responsible for the intense cold, and what magical power might lie within the ice plateau? This week we answer these questions and more. I'm Iris Galaxy, and this is RuneScape Lore. Before the God Wars of the Third Age, Zaros's followers had built settlements all around the world, including Karolanga, Gorok, and Anakal. From these settlements, Zerosians worshipped their god, safe from their enemies and living in peace. During the God Wars, having betrayed his master, Zamorak and his troops ravaged the Zerosian settlements, leaving them uninhabitable. Gorok, however, was for some reason not destroyed. As the war ended, Wahisatel delivered the message of peace to Gorok, but there were barely 100 survivors left, as stated by Lamarinta, the matriarch of Gorok. Those who lived within Gorok continued to hide there, and practiced their worshipping in secret fearing those who might try to kill them, should they be found. By midway through the Fifth Age, all of the Zerosians who had once lived in Gorok had either left or died. Several statues of General Khazad can be found inside of the building, suggesting that this Majorat could have been the leader or protector of the settlement prior to his betrayal against Zaros. Inside of the temple, a magical artefact known only as the Frostenhorn could be found. It was given this name by the Fremenic, literally meaning Horn of Frost. It was given this name because it was believed to have some sort of power over ice, and believed to have caused the intense cold in the area. The Fremenic were in part correct. The Horn was indeed responsible for the conditions of the area, but it did not inherently control ice. In fact, it would simply magnify the strength of what was around it. The far north was of course naturally cold, and the presence of the Frostenhorn greatly magnified the cold, creating the frozen waste plateau that surrounds Gorok. The conditions in the area, reaching out to the northwest corner of the wilderness, had become so bad that the beacon there had been left completely unattended. This power was likely why Azanadra needed to use it during the temple at St. Istan quest to increase the power of the other artifacts involved in the ritual. During the temple at St. Istan, the adventurer travelled to the fortress in search of the horn, but this was not the first time Azanadra had sent someone to find it. Another person, known only as Jay, had attempted to retrieve it many years before, but was unsuccessful due to the harsh conditions. What he did find, however, was a heat orb that was used by the inhabitants to overcome the cold in certain areas. This is the same heat orb that the player uses to melt ice blocks to gain access to different areas in the north. The idea that the inhabitants had developed the heat orbs to work around the Frost and Horn's powers suggests that the Horn had been there for a very long time. Other than that, little is known about the Horn's origin. At some point, the Frost and Horn had become part of the ice demon that the adventurer fights during the Temple of St. Istan quest. A possible origin for the Horn is the world of Leng, the ice world that acted as the original home of the Glacors. That said, since the Horn has no explicit ties to ice, it could have come from anywhere and simply created an ideal home for the Glacors on Gilanor. The effects of the Horn can be easily seen when the adventurer retrieves it and removes it from the area. Without a catalyst to significantly decrease the temperature, a significant amount of ice melted sparking the creation of several water fiends, and leaving the plateau slightly more inhabitable than it had been before. The creation of water fiends from heat had already been seen on a smaller scale. Water fiends are created when some of the ice blocks are melted using the heat orbs found around the fortress. The use of orbs by the Sorosians is backed up by the abundance of pedestals around the fortress that resemble those used to activate the orbs. Due to being in such a bad condition, not all of the Gorok fortress is accessible, and therefore it is unknown what else could be hidden within the settlement. It seems unlikely that there would be much more of interest inside of the temple however, 
since it lies so closely to the ritual marker, and would therefore be very well known by the Majorat. Specifically, Azanadra or General Khazad seem the most likely to have known about the contents of Gorok, and their lack of known activity in the area suggests that nothing else of importance is found there. And that is all that we know about the Gorok Fortress and the Frozen Waste Plateau at this point in time. There may be more interesting artefact or object hidden within the inaccessible floors of the fortress. Maybe there are forgotten Marjorat secrets stemming from the ritual marker that is found so close, but unfortunately, we may never know. I want to thank everyone who watched the video all the way through. I really appreciate you all for giving, uh, giving your time to listen to me ramble on about obscure storylines from a video game. And if you want to hear more about RuneScape's lesser known lore, make sure to hit that subscribe button and grow the subscriber army like it's been empowered by the Frost and Horn. As I mentioned earlier, this video's theme was suggested by Karamatic EDM, and if you want to suggest a topic for one of my future videos, make sure to tell me in the comments, because I can't read your minds. For more RS Galaxy memes and lore, make sure to follow me on Twitter too, the, uh, the link's in the description for that. And once again, thank you all so much for watching, hopefully I'll see you all in the next episode of RuneScape Lore.